Let's say hello. Hello everyone. So today we are painting this. What's this, Sophia? What's this? If you know what this is, please type in the comments. In the comments. What is this? Is it a portrait? Like a face? Is it a portrait? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. It's not a portrait. It's not a face. No. Is it a still life? Like fruits and vegetables and flowers? Is it? No, it isn't. Is it maybe a landscape? Is it a landscape? Yes, it is a landscape. What is a landscape? You see these trees, the sky, some ground, sheep gathered around under the tree. Everything that you can see here is a landscape. Today we are going to draw one. So what do we need for, for the lesson today? Uh, some paint, acrylic or gouache paint. I use these acrylics, brushes, pencil, a palette to mix the colors, black marker, cotton buds, uh, some bubble wrap. We haven't painted with the bubble wrap yet. And now it's time. And some paper towel to clean any mess or spills. And of course some water to clean brushes. I will begin with the pencil drawing. We'll create similar painting but slightly different. First, we draw some hills. It's a hilly landscape. It's a, actually a landscape of the Cotswolds, where we live. It's typical English landscape with lots of fields and hills. So I begin with drawing the hills. Like this. And uh, I want to draw the tree here in the middle. I draw the branches and the crown and the crown can be of different different shapes. This crown is oval. The crown that I did here is round like a circle so you can change and choose any shape you like. It can be even triangle, like like a Christmas tree. They're always triangle. Uh, here on the background, we will have a rainbow. And I want to draw a little cottage here. It might be a guest house where visitors stay. Uh, a little entrance here. I will have a few windows and two levels and little doors so the visitors can come in. Uh, small trees on the background growing around the cottage, like a, on the backyard. Some branches. And this is a fence. And any fence in the Cotswolds has hedges, like live fences. I draw them as a little arches. And some trees, with tree trunks, very tall, very wide. Branches go left and right. And more branches grow on the top. And you can even draw a bird nest. This. A couple of them. There you go, another tree here. So this is a field where 
sheep will eat grass and the field has hedges on two sides these will be the hedges and there is a side road and the road going to the field and this entrance is closed with the gate okay the drawing is nearly finished so we'll begin painting with the colors in a minute and uh, I have a little bird sitting here and a few branches on two sides of the gate so the uh, maybe some flowers here on the side in the corner to balance the composition because we have something here and uh, we need to balance it with same elements on this corner and this corner and I don't want to draw same branches of hedges I want to draw different flowers I don't actually know what these flowers called but they like in the form of umbrella and they get dry uh, in the mid in the end of the summer alrighty so our drawing is ready and now we will begin the fun part we'll take the paint I'll squeeze some paint in the palette this time I like squeezing it directly on the paper but I want the painting to be more uh, complicated so I want to mix different colors together. I I'm taking two shades of green and uh, yellow. Look, Sophia, we will be painting the fields and the sky. And because this part of the sky has a rainbow, uh, and the rainbow is always on the dark sky, otherwise you won't see it if the dark, if the sky is light. Do you want to see the sky while uh, to paint the sky while I'm painting the hills? Yeah. Yes. Here you go. I give you some blue paint. Here you are. And uh, and I will be painting the the grass on the fields. So the first hill, which is directly under the rainbow, I will paint it with very bright bright green. Maybe if I begin with yellow color, and uh, I will see. Maybe I will leave it yellow. Can I draw? Yes, draw this uh, sky, but leave it for the rainbow. You can draw. From this side and this side. This is your blue. So I want to create this effect that uh, the the fields, the hills under the sunshine, and uh, here the sky on this on this side still dark because the rain just passed and the rainbow came out, and there is a strong sun shining from this. So it's from the left side. It's a rainy sunny day. Yes, it's a rainy sunny day. 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 This one is Peppa singing. <laughs> Peppa singing this song. Interesting that rainbow is only when there is both. There are both the sun and the rain. So now I'm, I get to paint in second hill here behind the tree and I mix yellow with more green so it's a bit darker than the first hill that I've just painted. <laughs> I'm painting. Wonderful, you're such a good artist. Okay. Just adding a bit more green and Paint all the this one is going to be a rainbow. Yes. I'm painting our sky. Well done. So two hills are painted. 
Now I'm going to paint the third hill and I'm taking this green, very bright green color and just paint across quite quickly. I'm painting. I'm painting. Lovely, such a lovely sky. Are you painting clouds? No, I'm painting. I'm painting a blue sky. It's a blue sky. That's what I'm making. And this one, that's a blue sky. Very, very dark. We can add some light later, if you want. I want to add some darker green, because I don't want these two hills to uh, be very to similar. Play. We're going to put little rainbow. Yes. And house, a little, and, and little, little house. And a tree, and a flower. So just make this difference a bit and tree, more. And the tree. And stretch and the color. And, and don't forget that every tree has its shade, shadow. So I'm, I'm painting with a darker green underneath the tree. Mommy, so it creates a nice I shadow. Okay, I'll turn it like this and you can draw there, paint there. So here's the shadow I've created. Oh, and I'm going to paint the tree trunk on top of this layer. There it is. Now move on to painting the tree crown. I mix some green sh 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 shades. Blue. And we are going to add some texture to the tree in a minute, so I'm not mm. much worried about mm. the green mm. color. I just making the same layer of blue color, and uh, later I will go over it with the some bright color to create this uh, illusion that there is a sunshine shining from the left to the right so now let's move on to painting these uh, hedges on the foreground artists always try to cover the white paper or canvas as quickly as possible so they can see the whole picture taking another green color very dark this, this time the darkest green I've got and uh, mix it with water a bit and I paint these stripes of hedges which I de decorate with the black marker in a minute when the paint get, gets dry completely and here the hedges come straight to the gate and uh, there is a road coming to the gate so there is more grass on the sides of the road and the road is going to be different color if you have brown or okra I'm taking okra painting the road and uh, I just smudge it with my finger there you go, the painting the paper is almost covered with paint and we can move on to the details very soon 
Oh, look, I have two more little trees here that I haven't painted yet. They're round. Round, round, round trees. And another round crown here. Now, let's try and draw with the bubble wrap. Have you ever painted with a bubble wrap? First of all, if you have a piece of bubble wrap, like around this size, just crumple it to create the bowl, the bowl, and uh, make sure the bubbles are outside, so we will be creating some tree texture with it. So I need to, because the, I have quite light green on the tree, I will take some darker green so my, the texture is visible. I stretch it a bit on the palette. And now with the bubble wrap, I just take some paint and uh, I try to make a mark on the tree. Here you go! Yeah, it's working! My tree has leaves now! Probably I'll try to experiment and add another color, different green this time. And then do the same. Stretch it on the palette. Wow, it has two layers of textures now, which is nice. Oh, I think my tree is missing a tree trunk. I have this interesting shimmering paint. I don't use it very often, but I think it would go for the tree trunk very well. Don't forget the tree trunk is wide at the bottom. And some branches. The tree trunk should be big and strong enough to support this crown. You may think it's a, an ordinary cotton bud, but in fact, it's my magic wand. If I say abracadabra, you will see it's making magic. In a minute. Are you ready? Abracadabra. Oh, oh, look what's doing. It's alive. It's alive. It's jumping in the paint and it's going to paint something. What is it doing? What is it doing? What is it? I don't understand. Oh, now it's jumped in my black paint. And it, oh, I think it looks like sheep. Is it a daddy sheep? Oh, it's drawing something else. Next to it, tap, 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 tap. And jumping in my black paint again. It's a sheep head. It's a daddy sheep and mommy sheep. Wow. They're lying on the ground, getting rest under the tree in the shade, shadow. I think it, they're missing their baby sheep. Do you know what baby sheep called? They're called lamb. I need to draw one little sheep, one little lamb, and another little lamb in between them so they're not lonely. They have a family. Hey, it's a little lamb here. There you go. What color are they? What color are they? They are white. Have you ever seen black sheep? I have. I'll draw one black he sheep here on the side. Do you know there is a saying to be a black sheep? What does it mean to be a black sheep? It means to be different, which is not a bad thing, I think. Here's one black sheep. 
and it has white head and these sheep are lying on the grass and the black sheep is standing on her legs and uh, looking at you there you go <laughs> now it can see you and two little ears so maybe one sheep here on the side The more, the merrier. They're all enjoying their grass. You see, it's so easy to draw a sheep. Now, we still have a rainbow in the sky, which is a piece of white paper. And I need to put some colors in it. Do you know what the rainbow colors are? They are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. I have a little rainbow here on the palette and now I need to put it here on the sky quite uh, I'll try to to do it with a flat brush I try to take all of this paint on the brush and with one stroke put it uh, here on the painting I must say it's not easier so you can do it just with uh, draw it with a marker or just draw it one color by one color one by one I love drawing rainbows that's great there you go there you go it's a rainbow in the sky now I think it's time to add some light some sunshine otherwise the sky is too dark so mix some yellow on the palette and I'll take yellow and white and I try to stretch it so it's blending with the blue Is sunshine coming from here and few sun rays and next step I take my magic wand again and this time I'll ask to draw the hedges here on two sides of the house hello magic wand can you draw hedges for me please doesn't do anything I forgot to say abracadabra abracadabra Oh, it's jumping into the green color now. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, wow, it's drawing nice edges here. And now, with the usual marker, I just add some details to complete the painting. So the house roof I will draw black. But when you draw, make sure the paint is completely dry now. Otherwise, it won't draw. So entrance, some two floors, two rows of windows. A little bird sitting here. And of course the gate. I forgot about the gate. We need to keep it closed, otherwise sheep may escape.
and some trunks. Some branches and tall trees here. And make them a bit thicker at the bottom. And they go slimmer, 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 slimmer. And the branches got even tangled at the top. And happy birds building their nests. And a small roof here and uh, tree branches in the garden. And a little gate, uh, a little fence. <laughs> Would you like to draw little people? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> little people. Little people. Look, we did little sheep and little. It's dry. It's dry. Yeah, you can draw now. That's okay if you. And this one is safe here. Okay. Safe so Crying or smiling? Is she smiling? Mm, he's crying. Why is she crying? Because it's his talk. Mm. How to make you happy? Because it's a fish crying. Do you know how to make you happy? No. No? And this one is Mooney. Is Sophie looking after sheep and lambs? And his and his bones are apple. Okay. And he's crying. Did you want an apple? Yes. Is that why you were crying? Yeah. If it's falling down! Oh no! Does she want an apple? Yeah! Shall you draw an apple in her hand? Apple. Apple. <laughs> Sorry guys, I hope you're doing alright with your paintings. They're uh, coming out very nicely. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Please do send them to our WhatsApp group and uh, hope to see you next week. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and... Uh, but I'm making a swing. <laughs> wonderful. I love you all. Stay home, stay safe, in a good mood. Shall we blow a kiss, Sophia? Will you blow a kiss? See you next time. Bye. Hmm.